in this session, I want to use the subject maximize to the max. The reason that we have developed these materials and that we're sharing them with you is that most people today are not living their life to the fullest capacity. They are not maximizing. They are not reaching forward. They are not accelerating. They are not moving to the field of their dreams. The reason that we have developed these materials today is that we're concerned that we raise up people who are mountain climbers, who are in fact giant killers, who are not afraid to ford out into the deep, to move beyond the shallow waters of mediocrity on into the field of their dreams and to see the things that they have aspired toward coming to pass in their life. The happiest people I have ever known in all of my life are people who are productive. There is nothing as fulfilling as winning. You can win. You must win. You were created to win. When God breathed into you the breath of life, he breathed it into you specifically and expressly that you might become a winner. He is a winning God and he wants a winning son and a winning daughter. In order to be able to win, you must be prepared to move out of the comfort zone that you're in, to accelerate out of the small system that many of us have subconsciously built up in our lives, just a nest that we sit on for years and years and years. If you don't move into the next realm, you will be depleted and diminished and eventually become bored because you have not moved out of your comfort zone. God told Abraham, look out from where you are, away from your tent. Your miracle is outside of your tent. What I really have for you to inherit is beyond the scope of where you have been sitting. You must then make a decision, am I going to sit in the familiar or forge forward into the unfamiliar? Your blessing, your success, your accomplishment, your dream is going beyond the borders of the normal into the abnormal and the extraordinary. People who go into the extraordinary are extraordinary, and they do extraordinary things because they have extraordinary thoughts. I want to challenge you to think something bigger than you, to see something beyond your field, to reach for something beyond your scope, because you'll never get it if you don't reach for it. It will never come in your tent. Success will never knock on your door. Success doesn't make house calls. If you want to be successful, you may have to kick your door down or climb out of your window. But whatever it takes, get out of that small tent that you have been living in, circling around and around and around. For God told Abraham, all this outside of your tent will I give you if you look out from where you are. So don't be afraid to leave your comfort zone. Regardless of how comfortable it is, you have exhausted it. You have been there and done that. You've already accomplished that. You already know how to do that. You've already mastered that. So if you're going to grow, you've got to go. If you're going to grow, you've got to go forward, reach further, and climb higher than you have ever done before. You must be prepared to seek out people who are ahead of you, who challenge you, who have mastered things that you haven't mastered. Don't just run with people who have done what you do. Find yourself some associates who have done things that you have not done. Most people are afraid to do that. They tend to be intimidated. They feel uncomfortable because they're surrounding themselves with people where they do not share mutual ideas, philosophies, academics, intellectual capacities, so forth and so on. But if you're going to grow, you must be exposed to people that are challenging. Even when it comes to fruit, if fruit is going to bear and if it's going to be productive, there must be cross-pollinization. That cross-pollinization occurs effectively when those trees are surrounded by other trees and the bees are able to pull nectar from this one to that one. And in the process, they are able to become fruitful. You may not be fruitful because of the environment that you're in, and it's very, very important that you cross-pollinate with people who are progressive in their thinking progressive in their philosophy, progressive in their ideologies. When they are progressive, they are not intimidated by you. When they are progressive, they are not jealous of you. 
when they are progressive, they're not afraid to share with you. And if you're going to break the boundaries of your comfort zone, you must find people who have done that effectively and begin to associate with them. Associating with them means broadening your streams. When you begin to broaden your streams, you may garner some criticism. Criticism from those who came from where you have been. They are intimidated because you've moved on to new borders, but you cannot allow criticism to stop you from experiencing progress in your life if you are going to be successful. Stop, look, and listen, but do proceed. Don't be a person who is forever a dreamer. I challenge you not to continue to just dream, 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 year after year after year. I want to, I wish I could, I want to, I wish I could, I want to, I wish I could, if not enough. You will never get there just because you want to, nor will you get there just because you wish you could. Wishers and dreamers don't get there. You have to be a doer. You have to be someone who acts on their dreams. If you're man enough to dream it, you're man enough to do it. If you're woman enough to think it, you're woman enough to achieve it. Go for your dreams. Your dreams, in fact, are indications that you have the potentials and the possibilities to attain it. It wouldn't be in your heart. It wouldn't be in your mind if you weren't able to do it. So don't be afraid to reach beyond the cord and the boundaries that have been preset for you and go out there into the deep and receive the productivity that you believe is yours. How can we do this? We can only do this through the grace and the mercies of God because as we trust in God and have faith all the time, it is that process that releases the God-given innate power that I believe is a part of our creative mechanism. God created us with the innate ability to succeed over adversity. In fact, that's what being blessed is all about, the innate ability to succeed over adversity. That means it is in you to succeed. You need to unleash that success that's down inside of you. Many of us have been raised in atmospheres that were oppressive and depressive and, and we thought that if we were successful we would somehow betray where we came from. But I want to challenge you today to break those boundaries and reach beyond your background. It doesn't matter where a tree is rooted, it matters where it reaches to. It doesn't just stay where it's rooted, but it reaches beyond. The Bible said Joseph is a bow whose branches reach over the wall. He may be planted over here, but he reaches over there. He was planted over in Israel, but he reached over into Egypt. It doesn't matter where you start, it matters where you finish. So don't be afraid to reach beyond where you're planted into the next dimension and experience everything that God has for you to experience. I want you to get this equation and I want you to incorporate this equation into your philosophy of life. Conviction plus confession equals change. Again, conviction plus confession equals change. If you have a conviction about something and you believe that it's yours and you are firmly convicted in your heart that that thing is attainable to you, the next step is to confess to confess what you are convicted of. Start speaking it. Start talking about it. Start reading about it. Start declaring it. Tell your friends about it. Tell your enemies about it. Tell everyone about it. This is where I'm going to go. Why do you do that? Because faith cometh by hearing. It builds your faith when you talk about it. It makes it believable. It makes it attainable. It whets your appetite. It stirs your passion. It motivates your heart. When you start speaking about it, let your ears hear your mouth say where you're going to to go before you get there and conviction plus confession equals change anytime you're getting ready to go through a paradigm shift and you're about to move into another dimension you must first have a conviction in your heart your heart's conviction needs to become your mouth's confession you then begin to confess out of your mouth what you believe in your heart and if you'll do that thing conversion occurs in every aspect of your life change occurs in every aspect of your life you have it because you say it you said it because you were convicted of it and it begins to occur in your life now i want to challenge you i want you to buckle your seat belts and get ready now we're getting ready to go to the max no more half stepping
No more sitting back. No more mediocrity. No more holding down, shutting down, looking back, or putting the car in reverse. We're going to put the pedal to the metal. We're going to kick it into high. We're going to open up all the gears, and we're going for broke. If you're going to be alive today, you might as well live your life to the fullest. Never stop living until your life is over. Live it to the fullest. I'm talking to people at every age and every stage of life. You are to be productive into your old age. Every day you are alive. It is an opportunity for you to be productive and for you to be effective. There is no such thing as retirement from life. So every day you are alive, you ought to live that life to the fullest. More people than ever are making successful midlife career switches. Midlife, in the middle of their lives, they're deciding to switch careers and doing it successfully. That means that these are people who refuse to accept age as an excuse for not changing. They are considering themselves to be vital and significant and important at every age and stage of life. And if you believe that about you, it is your job to sell yourself to the employer, to the businessman, to the bank, or whoever you need to until they begin to understand that your hair may be gray, but your mind is bright and your thoughts are keen and you are very much alive. Statistically, we are living longer. We are more healthy than we've ever been before. And so it's very important that we don't stop living our lives before our life is over. Now listen to this. Admission to medical and professional graduate schools such as law and business school is at an all-time high for students beginning over the age of 30. All-time high. If they can do it, you can do it too. Don't let anyone laugh at your dream and tell you that it's too late for you to do what you want to do. If you want to do it, I mean really want to do it, at any age, at any stage, you can do it. You might say that's ridiculous, that's impossible, but don't tell me that. You're talking to a man whose grandmother went back to school at 50 and got her degree and taught school until she retired. It is possible, it is attainable, and she paid for her college education washing other people's clothes until she gained enough money to get her degree. It doesn't matter your adversity, it doesn't matter your limitations. She could have easily said, I'm disadvantaged, I don't have the money I need, I'm too old, I'm too late, but if you've got that fire in your eye and that tenacity in your spirit nothing is impossible to him that believes get in the flow of things don't let life pass you by don't be intimidated as new mechanisms new concepts new ideas enter onto the stage as long as you keep on living you keep yourself fresh you keep yourself alive and you keep yourself vital so push out into the deep and experience everything that's in your heart and in your life and in your spirit to achieve nothing. Again, nothing is impossible to him that believes. There are many unexpected aspects of success that I want to share with you today that I believe will help you to prepare for the success that is inevitable. You can't experience this kind of teaching and still be a failure. Not if you inundate your mind with it. Not if you listen at it in your car and listen in your house until it becomes a part of your psyche, a part of your personality, until you start speaking it and you start feeling it. It is bound to happen to you. You're bound to get the job. You're bound to get the contract. You're bound to get whatever it is you pursue when you get this positive attitude and this positive disposition it will happen for you people buy your product they buy you people don't buy your company they buy you people don't buy the business deal they buy you and your vivacious attitude about the thing that you're trying to market or that you're trying to sell if you walk into the office looking pitiful looking incompetent looking incapable looking afraid looking insecure looking intimidated they will close the book on you but if you walk in the door like you are the answer to this company's problem you shall have Whatever you say. 
Success brings new responsibilities and some pitfalls. Be prepared to deal with all of it. There will be challenges. There's supposed to be challenges. There will be obstacles. If it were easy, anybody could do it. But don't let a hard time or hard work stop you from reaching your dreams. Roll up your sleeves, snarl your teeth, straighten your back, hold your head up, and let life know you're in for a fight if you're going to try to stop me from getting to the thing that I'm after. I got up out of the bed this morning to achieve and to succeed. I didn't wake up to fail. I didn't get up to quit. I wasn't born to die. I won't look back. I won't give in and I will not faint. I was born to be a winner and I won't die until I do it. Get that in your mind. Get it in your heart. Get it in your spirit. Don't be afraid to change your definition of success as you grow and you experience more and you're exposed to more. Your whole idea of what is nice, of what is important, of what is successful begins to change. As it changes, don't be afraid to change with it. You are in the midst of an evolution. You are evolving as a person. Don't let people make you feel bad when they walk up to you and say, well, I knew you years ago, and it seems like to me you've changed. You're supposed to change. You were born to change. Anything that doesn't change doesn't grow. Anything that doesn't grow dies. Stop apologizing for changing. Stop denying that you change. Tell them, yes, I changed, and I'm glad about it. I'm excited about it. I wanted to change. I was tired of being who I was. Get to know me. How you like me now? I'm new. I'm fired up. I'm motivated. I'm invigorated. I'm ready to achieve. Nothing can stop me now. I've shed my tears. I've cried. I've been through my storms. I've been through my adversities. And yes, I've even made my mistakes. But hey, look at me. I'm alive. I survived. I made it over. And I'm back to win and overcome every obstacle that ever rose up against me. I want to motivate you. I want to challenge you to become invigorated to fulfill your dreams. Stop hoping for a better tomorrow and create a better tomorrow. It is yours. It is possible. It is plausible. It is attainable. It is reachable. If you reach for it, who can stop you from getting it? You have everything that anybody ever had who ever did anything significant in all of their lives. And if they did it, you can do it too. Apply these ideas over and over for success and expand on them. Allow them to work for you. Incorporate them into your personality. Use them in your business. Teach them to your children. Use it in your staff meetings. Challenge them to go for it. Challenge them to explode. Challenge them to open up their hearts because it is possible. Excitement is like a fire. Once it starts, no one can tell how far it's going to go. This is not the kind of material that you need if you're not prepared for a roaring, ravenous fire to engulf your life. This is the kind of material for people who are ready to start something and they don't care where it ends. This is the kind of material that should be unleashed in the hands of people who see the invisible and can do the impossible. This is the kind of material for people who others have said, you're limited, you can't get there, you're not enough, you can't do it, you can't have it. But you started feeding your soul, feeding your mind, feeding your heart, feeding your spirit. You can use the principles that I am teaching today to overcome anything or everything that's limiting you. It can be used against a habit. Maybe you're smoking and you want to stop smoking. Maybe you've been drinking and you want to stop drinking. Maybe you've been overweight and you want to attack that problem. It makes no difference what it is. It is the power in your head that overcomes the obstacle in your life. It is the power in your head that overcomes the obstacle in your life. In other words, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. If you've got the mind to conceive it, you've got the power to receive it. Go for it. I want to challenge you now because it is very, very important that you begin to realize that this is your moment to maximize to the max every moment that God has given you. Live it to the fullest. Go for broke. Sell out. Reach for your dreams. Accelerate. This is no time for coasting. No more Sunday driving, nor hanging out with those that do. This is the time for you to hit the racetrack of life and give it everything you got. Have you ever wondered how much better life would be if you gave it everything you got before you die? You owe it to yourself to see how much better your life could be if you ever threw your whole effort at anything or anyone or any objective 
purpose or any goal, wonder how much harder you could hit if you threw the whole weight of your personality into your dreams. It is possible that you might be sitting on the greatest moment of your life. It is possible that you might be sitting on the miracle you've been waiting on. It's in you, and we want to motivate you now to reach for those things that have been impossible heretofore. Apply these ideas and expand on them, and who knows what will happen in your life. This is a system that will work throughout your life, not just at the end, not just at the beginning, but these are principles. Principles are transferable truths. They can be used anywhere. They can be used for anybody. It will work whether you are a minority or not. It will work whether you are female or male. It will work whether you're tall or short. It will work whether you're young or old. There are certain principles that if they are taught properly to anybody, it will work if you work it. I want to challenge you now to get your rake out, get your hoe out. We're going to start planting seeds of greatness to everyone we talk to, to everyone we meet. We're going to become so infected with the dreams and the hopes and the potentials and possibilities that depression will hate to see you coming. Despair will hate to see you get up out of the bed in the morning. When your feet hit the floor, let life know you are in for a fight because I am ready to maximize every Every moment in my life is God was God enough to give me a moment then I am going to be man enough to maximize the moment that he gave me if God saw fit to give me a second chance I'm going to use that chance to wade out into the deep of life and experience my dream and I'm not rowing back until I get everything out of my life that I came to get maximized to the max this is a system that you can pass on to others, that you can teach, that you can use. This is a system that will cause you to become more effective. I cannot add more years to your life, but I do want to add more life to your years. I want to add so much life to your years that it feels like you're living longer. And the reality is you are simply living better. Finally, my brothers, my sister, my friend, my confidant, my mentee, I want to leave you with this. Enjoy your life. Enjoy it. Stop apologizing for having a good time. You've worked hard. You've labored long. You've sacrificed. You've given up much. You persevered. You didn't faint in the day of adversity. You didn't collapse in the midst of calamities. You withstood the storm. You've been through the rain. You've driven through the fog. You withstood the lightning. You withstood the thunder. And now that you are finally there, enjoy yourself. The time has come for you to live and to live more abundantly. No more half-stepping. No more night riding. No more looking back. No more giving in. Go for broke. Let the wind hit you in the back of your head. Lift your arms in the air and fly. Maximize the moment. It's yours.